Hey, this is just a quick review. We're in Devil's Garden. Snow makes it look pretty awesome on those tips, uh, like a lot of other things here in Arches National Park. This is the last spot in Arches National Park that you can really get to without four-wheel drive. There's a little part uh, north of it, but I'm told four-wheel drive is necessary. And not just four-wheel drive, but high clearance. Anyways, I just wanted to comment on this location, a little review, that uh, it's pretty good for little panoramas of uh, this kind of, this whole, uh, you know, horizon here. And if you go on the other side, way over there, there's another good spot for a panorama spot as well. So not just a spot. This spot is kind of curved. If you're over there, it's more, over there it's more straight. Um, and I can't really comment on going into Devil's Garden. There may be a couple of different trails. I went on one years ago. It was all right. Um, a lot of these spots are have very difficult uh, uh, dynamic ranges, so really bright and really dark at the same time, and shade and bright skies. So bring a tripod and uh, maybe try out your hand in HDR, or come. Uh, early or late, stay late, when it's uh, kind of dark or darker skies out, that may help out a little bit. There's also a campground just down the road over here, so a popular place to camp, I'm sure. It's, uh, you know, just kind of walk over here and do your, do your hikes, you don't even have to drive. And There are some spots to park, but I don't think it's a uh, huge parking lots here, like there is at the windows section. A lot more parking there. Uh, that's my mini review of the Devil's Garden in Arches National Park. Bring your 14 to 24 if you got it. Or I'm just saying something pretty wide. Uh, don't, do, don't not come because you don't have that wide of, of lenses. I uh, just try to find different things to take pictures of, but definitely a wide lens area if you got it.